Hello, I'm Simplify. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this paper cutout effect in Photoshop. This is the image that I'll be using for this tutorial. We need to make a rough selection around the area where we want to apply the effect. I recommend using the polygonal lasso tool because it makes hard selections simulating the paper cut. So just select your image and make a selection in the area where you want the effect. Now we need to duplicate this selection via layer. So make sure your image is selected and hit Control J. I'm going to rename this layer here to cut out. Then I'm going to hold control and click on the layers thumbnail here so I can make a selection of it. And now we need to create a layer mask. So hit this icon here. The next thing we need to do is create a solid color. So go to adjustments, solid color and make it completely white. Then hit OK. Delete the layer mask that comes with the solid color. So just select it, hit delete on the keyboard or just drag and delete it here. Drag this color fill layer behind the cutout layer. So I'll just drag it here. Now we need to apply the same layer mask we applied to the cutout layer to the color fill. So just select the mask on the cutout layer, hold Alt and drag it to the color fill. Or you can do what we did earlier. So just select the cutout layer, hold Control and click on the layers thumbnail of the cutout here. Select the color fill and hit the mask button here. When applying filters, make sure you always select the layer mask and not the layer itself. Otherwise the effect won't work. Select the mask of the color fill here, then go to filter, pixelate, crystallize. Keep the number on the cell size here low. So keep it between three and eight. Let's do like five here, then hit OK. The next thing we need to do is duplicate this color fill. So select the layer and hit Ctrl J. Let's rename it to color fill two so we don't mix it up with the first layer. Select the layer mask of this color fill two, then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Keep this number very low. So keep it between 0.5 and one. I'll just do one here, then hit OK. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Now we need to apply the crystallize effect again. So go to filter, pixelate, crystallize. Set this number a point high than your previous cell size. Earlier we did five. Now let's do six and hit OK. Our effect is starting to take form, but you can see around the edges, we can see a little bit of a glow because of the blur we applied. Make sure your layer mask is selected and hit Control L. So we can bring up the levels and just drag this slider here until the glow starts disappearing. So let's just do around 35, then hit OK. Now we need to duplicate our color fill one last time. So select the second one and hit Ctrl J. Rename it to color fill 3, then select its layer mask, then go to filter, distort, ripple. Keep this number between 100 and 200. So I'm just gonna do here 160, then hit OK. This filter makes our effect a little bit more chaotic. Let's just disable it and enable it so you can see. It just adds a little bit of randomness to the side to sell the effect more. Now we need to group everything besides the main image. Just select everything and convert them to a smart object. To make our effect better, we need to have a drop shadow to separate the cutout effect from the main image. So have your cutout selected, then go to effects, drop shadow. This all comes down to your preference. I'm just going to keep it this way and just reduce the opacity a little bit. You can copy my settings or just experiment with your own. Then hit OK. To make our effect even more better, we need to add some grain to it. But before we do that, if you want to help the channel out, you can check out my website. It has a lot of free and paid assets, including this one, which is completely free. It has a lot of variations, including the grain one and the halftone one, and even one with custom settings. So you can experiment with the intensity of the effect. To add some grain, just select your layer, then go to filter, camera or filter. I prefer the grain in the camera or filter, but you can use any type of noise you like. I'm going to set the grain here to high number. I'm just going to do like 80 for the roughness. I'm going to lower it to maybe like, let's just do 30. And that just makes our effect much more better. If you create something with the action pack I provided for this effect, you can tag me on Instagram so I can see what awesome creations you made. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.